welcome back guys so i realized that the last video i posted on the difference between a support worker and a care assistant job is in the same video as the one that um, gives tips on how to pass a care assistant interview i realized that that video was too long that i should have split it into two you know because there are two different topics you know a difference between a care assistant job and a support worker job should be in a separate video not in the same video as the interview tip so now i have broken it into two just to make it simpler and um easier to understand and also i know that uh uh people's life um i know that people's attention span is not you know so wide so i decided to break it into two and yes so this one is basically talking about the difference between a care assistant job and a support worker job yeah that video was 30 minutes long and i, I realized that was too long so now we have about 16 minutes plus which explains the difference between a care assistant job and a support worker job so yes it's very ex explicit very detailed so sit back relax and enjoy okay so first of all a care assistant a care assistant role is very different from a support worker for you to get a support role in the uk most times you will need at least few months experiences in the uk you must have worked in the uk as a carer for maybe three months at least three months before you can go ahead to um apply for a support role yeah so in, in my case see guys <laughs> i don't know i was just i was just lucky i'll say i'm one of those few lucky ones you know that just went from the role of a chef straight to a support role you know but i have the experience you know on my cv it says that i have lots of experiences from nigeria but i'm just one of those few lucky ones i was able to still secure a support role from directly from the kitchen now to the difference between a support job and a care job first of all a care job is the one where some of them are domiciliary you go to the client's houses the service some of them call them service users some people call them clients so the domiciliary care is the one where you go to their homes and render the services to them you know you give them medication um you give them their personal care like you, you help them um with personal care like helping them with their uh, brushing of their teeth you know bathing them cleaning them up and sometimes making their meals you know just basic things you do on a day-to-day -day life that's what you do as a caregiver as a care assistant that's what you do as a care assistant you help them with day to day with their day to day life with their meals with their um general uh, personal care you know you help them tidy up their houses if there's need for that you know you do their dishes um you prepare their meals you clean them up and give them medication and all of that care workers these are people that are vulnerable people that sometimes don't have the capacity to even do anything that's for the support i mean that's for the care um some of them don't even have the capacity to talk some have don't have the capacity to walk some don't have the capacity to do and some are old you know just basically um vulnerable people and aged people so these are the people you offer your care um these are the people you offer care services to old people vulnerable people generally people who have no capacity to talk no capacity to walk that have zero capacity or little or no capacity to do anything these are the people you offer um care services to so these are the ones you go to the house people that are old that are near death you know 70s 80s you know vulnerable people generally or if they could be young too just maybe people that have no capacity to stand up or to walk or just 
you're just helping them live their lives you know what i mean so that is what a care assistant does and for um support a support worker now the difference between a care giver and a support worker is that for support um in terms of okay people that are, are um dyslexic you know those that have dyslexia um for instance you have um for instance even in school environment you offer support to students Yes, people work as support workers in schools, in homes, in just generally in life, you know. You offer support to students that are like dyslexic, that have like dyslexia, that have, um, that don't really have the capacity to read or write, but they understand. It's not like these people can't think or, you know, they can do these things. It's just that they, they are just a little bit. But you're helping people that are disabled, you know, people that sometimes maybe that are that have like down syndromes or like autistic or people that have dyslexia you know and that are in school you're helping them what you do as a support worker the, those that's for the ones that are in school you're helping them with their assessments you're like reading what the lecturer what's on the brief or whatever is on the handbook to them you know that's basically what support does support doesn't really require you giving them personal like personal um household assistance like that you know you're just helping them live independently if you get what i mean so support is like easier sometimes you help you give medication too if you're doing support and there are support homes as well there are people there are offices where um they have people that so for support now um it's just basically people that are um disabled or people that have uh, mental illness those kind of things and um, this time around they are not incapacitated totally incapacitated unlike for the care you know what so for the care they are like incapacitated they can't really do much themselves but for uh, for support these people some of them are very independent it's just that sometimes maybe um, abuse of drug you know um, these people uh, maybe people that that need rehab you know, or people that are, are wheeled to a chair, that are like on a wheelchair, you help them with their shopping, their passion, personal shopping, you go out with them, you engage them in conversations, or if you're in their homes, all you do is go there, engage them in chats, and give them medication too, yeah, and also uh just basically i get them in conversations if they need to do shopping you follow them you know you just assist them so on is just basically assisting them live independently so you're not like cleaning their homes or you know cooking for them or cleaning them up or you know just those basic um household things no those ones are for carers so now for support all you're doing is assisting like you're just basically giving them moral support or you're engaging them in conversations or you're reminding them of taking their medications and taking them on a walk you know so for me support is much more advanced and easier so that's the one i got and yeah so far so good so i can say so far it's been good you know uh compared to yeah so i can say so far so good you know so far because i've been on a on night shift and doing the support work and it's been splendid i won't even lie to you guys it's been like very easy easiest thing ever because all i do at night is okay call some of them i say okay remind them and okay and prompt them to take their medication that's all i do and sometimes throughout the night i get to call maybe two th two or three people and say okay it's 10 p.m have you had your medication have you or sometimes some of them calling in, call into the office and they go oh um i'm feeling lonely and doing this and all you need to do is just reassure them and say no don't worry everything will be fine and that's it that's it for the job i'm doing now guys that is basically all i do just go there in the night call people have you had your medication or sometimes sometimes if it's not so late there's this client that i have to go to also and say okay basically just check on them at night sometimes by 9 p.m i go there and that's the only one for the shifts 
you know, just go there and say, oh girl, hello, how you doing? Have you had your medication? Basically, just like there, just like you're going to visit your friend and you know you're having a chat with your friend. And that's it to this support room. So it's much more easier. And yeah, so I can say so far, please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please, I'm begging you. I am begging this 2022. This, in this year, I'm basically going to beg you guys to so please subscribe. I am begging. I am not commanding you and I'm not entitled i am simply begging you to please subscribe these things go a long way to help us you know when you see that okay content you're putting out there is really helping and you know your channel is growing it just does something to you it encourages us so please i am begging you to please subscribe to this channel okay so till i see you in the next one please take care of yourselves and god bless you bye, -bye.